This is David. For this special 200th episode of GCast, I wanted to share with you how I actually create my screen recordings. I start with Microsoft Teams. Uh, the reason I have used that is because I already have it. It's already installed on this computer. But I could I used to use uh, Camtasia from TechSmith, another really, really good tool specifically designed for that. I don't happen to have the latest version installed on this computer, so I'm just going to use Teams. And uh, when I open Teams and go into the calendar view here, there's this Meet Now button. I click on that to start a meeting. It'll ask me things like, you know, which camera do I want to use? Do I want to turn the camera on or off? Which microphone do I want to use? What, what speakers, et cetera? Uh, I, I set those, and then I start the meeting. And once I've started that, I won't click Quick Meet Now now because I, I am meeting right now in here. I don't want to start another meeting. But once I do that, then when the meeting is started, I get a dialogue kind of like this right here and it shows i have the camera turned off so it doesn't show me at all but i want to share a screen so this button up here right now it says stop sharing because i'm sharing the screen that you're seeing but originally it said share screen and then when i clicked it it popped up a dialogue and said what do you want to share i can share an entire screen or a single application I happen to have multiple monitors in my setup, so I like to have my notes on one monitor and the screen that I'm sharing on another. So I say uh, this monitor number three is the one I share, and that allows you to see this. Uh, the next thing I do is I start recording, and I click on more, record and transcribe. And right now it says stop recording, but <laughs> originally it said start recording and transcription. So I turned that on, and that starts this recording, and that's why you're able to see this right now. And then when I'm done, I go on here and I say, stop recording, and, and then I end the meeting. And when I end the meeting, what happens is inside of Teams, I will see something like this right here. It'll show a summary of the meeting. I can look at a recap. I don't really care about that for these purposes, but I do care about the recordings and the transcript. Really, the recordings are the most I care about. When I click on this, I get this right here where I can watch the meeting. I'm going to make sure that everything looks and sounds good. But really what I want to do is to watch in browser because for some reason, I don't have the option to download that video right here. So I say watch in browser. It opens up a browser. And on here, I actually have this download button. And I can grab that download button click on it, and then here in my downloads folder, I have an MP4, which is the audio and the video for that recording. And that's my starting point for producing this episode. Now that I've downloaded the recording, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit it. Uh, I use it because I have it and I'm um, trying to learn how to get better at it. Um, generally, what I'll do is I'll just take the most recent episode and I'll save that because the template is the same. I have an intro and an outro and some music that I've selected. Uh, so I'll just open up the most recent episode and I'll rename it. So this one, I'm going to call it GCast 200 because it's episode 200, and I'll just put, uh, uh, this is a fake one, so I'll just call it Lorem Ipsum, but generally it'll be something that's descriptive of what this is. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. And then here underneath the project itself, I will delete just the MP4 that are, are the screencast that I recorded. Press the delete key here and say yes. So that deletes the project, but it also deletes it from this timeline right here and then what i'll do is i will i've got in here a video the intro video you see with all the faces of me and if i zoom way in then and then it's a little bit of animation there i created that with powerpoint uh, but you can use other tools for doing that i'll change this right here i'll change the episode number this case from 199 to 200. I'll change the title. So it's now the title of this one. Something descriptive on here. And if I go all the way to the end, I'll just press the end key. It'll take me back here. Then I have some stuff at the very end. I want to do the title again. Like that. I always have the date in here, date it was recorded.
like that. And uh, and that's really it for this. And then I'll go back into the project and I'll add the new file that I did. So generally what I'll do is I, I yes, I have it in my downloads folder right here, but I'll take that, I'll copy it. I have a folder called videos on my C drive. So if I copy this file, then I'll want to put it into videos gcast right here under raw videos. I sort them by year and I'll put it right here. And this is where I'll get my videos from. I'll just that's my kind of my holding place for them. And then inside of Premiere, I use the media browser tool and I'll find that folder. It's always in the same folder. So under Gcast raw 2025, I had one that I called uh, recording this one right here. This is the one that I just recorded. I'll probably give it a more useful name than that, but I'll import it right here and then I can just drag it onto the timeline. And I want to go very right back to the beginning here and drag this onto this timeline. And you'll notice that I want to cut out some of the intro stuff. So I'll, I'll do that and have the video start right about where the audio kicks in. Right before that, and the way I do that is to hide like this. Control K is the shortcut key for doing that. That's the delete key and then bring this all the way back to the beginning. And you'll notice also that my little face is right here. In Teams, there's no way that I know of to get rid of that. So what I do instead is I actually zoom in so that it makes the rest of this bigger and gets rid of that. And if I go under effect controls right here, then I have an option to change the XY position. I have to check, change the zoom. I have to select just the video right here. And over here, you can see the scale is how much it can zoom. And what I want to do is I want to change. I've actually remembered this. I can, I can actually use the up arrow to move the X and the down arrow to move it that way or select the Y position to move this up or down with the arrow keys or you can just type it in. Same thing with the zoom if I want to zoom in. So you can experiment with this a little bit. And I did that originally and I figured out that these numbers work for me. Uh, if I put 1155 for X position and 562 for the Y position, and then I zoom in, zoom in to 120, then that seems to work pretty well if I type it correctly. 1155. 562. There we go. That's what I want to do. And that makes it fill the screen. A little bit of cropping over there. Maybe I'd want to zoom it out just a tiny, tiny bit, but it works pretty well when I do that. So that's what I do. And once I'm done, then I go to export right here. Export. And I always I have a folder set up here called C backslash videos backslash final output. And I give it a name. And usually the name is the same as what I want to call it's descriptive. I'll say my naming convention is TF and then the episode number. I'm sorry, not TF, GC, GCast 200 dash, uh, and then the description, you know, Laura, Mipsum, whatever it is right here. And that's what I'll do. And I'll click this export button to kick off the export. And that's what I can upload to YouTube. Now, you notice that I, I started with a template. Uh, you don't if you don't have that template, of course, I didn't have it on the very first one, so I can go back in here. And if I wanted to add things like, for example, this video that I created, I can add those. You see that it's right here in my this is the intro. It's in my. Uh, in the project right now, but I can add things to this project simply by going back to the media browser. And saying, you know what, all my stuff is here under assets, so that template that I created is there's the intro right there. I can add that. I can right click and import it into here. And once I've imported it into here, same thing with I've got pictures. I've got a picture here to show the Creative Commons. I have access to a music. I downloaded this music file here for from um, some Creative Commons site, site. So I have access to use it for nonprofit under this license right here. And I put that at the very end. I put those disclaimers in the 
ending credits. So right here, Blue Sky Blues, copyright 2019. I'm using this Creative Commons license here. There's a link to it right there. And then down at the end of this video itself, I've copyrighted it with this year. So these things right here, and I can I, I can certainly add those here. So once, I, once I've imported the music and the images or whatever, I can just drag them onto the timeline and put them wherever I want them to be. In this case, it would be at the very beginning. And then you can see there's that video that you see at the very beginning. I created that a couple of years ago and I'm still using it right now. Maybe it's time for an update. Uh, if I wanted to do something like this and add some text to it, then there's a tool right over here, text, and I can just come in here and start typing hello world. And you see it adds that into here, I can position it where I want to. I can change the properties over here. Maybe you zoom in on that, make it larger. Change the, maybe I wanna move it up a little bit by changing the Y position, etc. And then I save and export it right here. So this is essentially the process that I use for creating GCast. I go through this every week, but the, uh, the most fun part is actually creating the video and figuring out the demos. Sometimes this part here is a little bit tedious because over and over again, but that's why I do a save as I get rid of all the tedious parts and just have a similar template, which I think is better for watching. In this video, I showed you how I create my Gcast screen videos and how I do the screencast and how I edit it using Adobe Premiere Pro. This is David. Thank you for watching.